Hey, hey, greetings, my people, from the Great Start Studio, where we ask the question, how good do you want to be? I, you, you can't hit a target unless you know exactly what it is you're aiming at. Try to get the most specific possible goal out there for when you're 80 years old, and then try to make every effort towards that. We have a drumstick video. The drumstick video, number whatever. I mean, there's so many of these, but what we're trying to do is get the 30,000 foot view for categories so that you stay within certain confines that are healthy, effective for learning. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the two polar ends of motivation. I love being motivated and there are drivers, the fire that lights you uh, in different types of motivation. Now on one end of the, of the spectrum of the drumstick is negative motivation. And on the other end is positive motivation. Both of these are motivating, strangely enough. And it took me a while to actually, I don't know, kind of accept just the pure ideal that every motivation is positive. We're human beings, we're faulty, and we are motivated by all sorts of things along the spectrum. So on the, on the ideal sense of being motivated, you want to be motivated by getting the best of you. You want to be motivated by being all that you can be, by uh, reaching your full potential, by uh, dreaming large as an artist and being creative, innovative as an artist. These are motivating things that pull you, even, even if you never really quite reach it there, it's always in that direction. You know what you're reaching for is freedom, artistic freedom to have as many colors as possible, to paint with as many skills as possible, so that when you are playing, you are the most satisfied that you could possibly be. That That's what I'm trying to get to. That's what I'm trying to help my students get to. Uh, that's what the series is about. If you get a second, just buy the series and get on the on the track of two-line reading. It solves all of the reading problems. The more difficult the notes are, the easier it is to read in two line because it's built around you. It's not built around the drum set. This is a huge mistake. I have videos about that. Just do a deep dive and get on the freeway. And also it passes through all of your subdivisions through all of four, four, all three, four, five, four, seven, four, five, eight, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, all your major meter types. And then you are set from a positive learning method. Then you are on the fastest track, the broadest track, the most full spectrum track as we talk about. That is how I get to where I'm at now is to be able to pass through all of those major types, those mechanical types of uh, that uh, and get rid of all the other old junk. All those ideals are huge for me. I've had more plans, more posters, handmade things over my bed when I, so I can stare at them when I go to sleep. I mean, I just have always had stuff all over to look at, even just as reminders of positive things that I want to be. I have a couple of them over there and I'm a quote maniac. If anybody knows me through the series, I love quotes, more quote books than anything I've ever read. But I have two quotes that really drive me and I just wanted to make it very simple right in front of the drums. One is Benjamin Franklin's Lost time is never found. And when it's gone, it's gone forever. You cannot double up on the weekend or next month and make it right. And the other one is discipline is remembering what you want. These are ideals. I have to discipline myself to every day remember what is it I want? What I really want is the great and not the good. So much of the time we sell out these ideals for what is good. It's a good thing to do. It's a necessary thing to do, but it isn't the great thing to do. And the great thing to do takes discipline to even remember what it is because the life has a way of making all this noise. These are ideal sort of motivators. On the negative motivation, a lot of it has to do with people, is, is that there are people who, maybe there are people who just have never believed in you, that uh, maybe your parents didn't even believe in you. Maybe you have brothers and sisters who always talked down to you and they always thought they were better than you. These are motivators, almost like they shouldn't be motivating, but the brutal fact of it is there are motivators like this. Friends that you have that never seem to acknowledge your work. Other drummers, these are motivators. They're not the most pure ideal motivators, but they're, they're, they're on the motivational scale. And I think that what I did for a long time is try to, I don't know, suppress those things. You know, an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend uh, that somehow never believed in you. And somehow it's motivating to you to say, 
Oh yeah, well, here, I'm gonna show you, right? I'm gonna show you that I can really do this, that you, you didn't believe in me, you didn't think I was gonna do it. These are actually motivating things. Motivating things where you have friends who have been successful and that maybe you haven't been successful. All of these goofy th things online, they say negative things about your posts, your playing, your drums, your setup, your attitude, your hair, your shirt. <laughs> it could be anything. You know, these sticks, you know, what size, you know, it could be any kind of thing. You know, you know, who needs all that? Those things can be really motivating. And so what I'm saying is, is that both ends of this are part of one big spectrum. There are absolutely idealistic things that are important to have and there are really quite negative things that are actually important to embrace. So what I had to do is after a number of decades, I had to actually go, what actually is really motivating in the actual of my life? And sometimes it's the negative motivations. It's the negative motivations. I grew up as an only child, and so I always had this thing that I was somehow lazy right? And that's, that just sends me through the room. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's if anybody's seen Back to the Future where they start calling Marty uh, McFly uh, uh, yellow. Yeah, they call him yellow. Okay, you're like, he's a coward. And all of a sudden, he, he could be a coward through the whole movie. And all of a sudden, his back straightens up and he, he's like going to prove that he's not a coward. Uh, lazy is that kind of word for me. So that's a negative driver. Like for me, is for somebody to say, no, you're, you're just so lazy or you're spoiled or some kind of junk. And you're like, no, this is why I love the drums, is it cannot be faked. You can't buy it, you can't short circuit it, there's no chords, there's no 50 guys to blame it on. It is every sound that comes out of this is you. It's one person doing every note. If it's good, it's you, you've earned it. And if it's not good, you've earned to have you know, people go, that, that sucks. And then they won't play with you. Like the bands won't hire you, right? I grew up with this idea that, you know, my mom didn't have any any music in her life at all. <laughs> she she couldn't sing, she couldn't clap. You didn't want to be next to her in church while she was, she'd sing her heart out, but she couldn't she couldn't find the beat. You basically had this thing where she, I, she didn't understand music and I just basically, honestly, didn't really understand it either. I just got into it. I didn't have any brothers, sisters who knew it. I just said, you know, Mom, I just have this idea that if you get good enough at something, people notice. And thank goodness I had that idea because it drove me as an ideal that if you just got good enough, people will start noticing your work and they'll start wanting to hire you. Of course, you have to have gear, you have to be open, you have to have a good attitude, <laughs> you know, get rid of all your vices and all that stuff, and you got to show it, you can't procrastinate. All those other ducks have to be in a row. But ultimately, the number one duck that has to be in a row, symbolically to say, is you have to have your skills together. I just go, I'll put that at the very top of my ideal motivation. Oh man, I, I could just talk about this all day. I'll try to make it really short. And then over here, embrace your negative motivation. All those people who said you couldn't do it, use that motivation for something good. Just turn it into a positive outcome. Uh, I have a friend of mine who um, uh, we've played uh, over a thousand maybe 2,000 shows together. It's insane how many shows I played with him. And we had the same exact kind of thing <laughs> underneath, which is basically this, is there isn't any problem in life that can't be solved by just practicing more. <laughs> I swear, we just keep defaulting back to practicing more. You got trouble in your life, you practice harder. Financial problems, you practice harder. You know, you got a relational breakdown, you practice harder. You have a business that falls apart, you practice harder. And I've just always used those kinds of negative inspirations, if there's a such thing as negative inspiration, and I turn all that energy into something much more positive. So I am embracing this full spectrum of this now. If uh, I have a thought that seems like a negative motivation, I just go with it and I just try to get as much done as possible. So much of this stuff is all in your head anyway. So we just have to kind of corral ourselves into productivity. And so this is why I want to try to help you. You don't want to live in just the one is what I'm saying. All negative. That would just be horrible. If you have the ideal though, you'll turn it and steer your ship that way towards the ideal. If anything I'm saying is speaking to you, then you are my people. Get on the channel, subscribe, like, comment. We're gonna get these ideas out there so everybody can find their fullest true self and be happy playing for crying out loud. That's all you wanna do is to be happy playing. So let me just wrap this up. So from the Great Start Studio, back at it.